Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about how to convert my offset table into points. But first, we need to know what the offset table is and what is the lines plan. And we also need to know the views of the ship. So the first thing, let's jump into the views of the ship and the names. Uh, that one above, like when you look from the top, it is called the half breadth plan. That one indeed is the half breadth plan. And that one, like when you look uh, from the side of the ship, it is called the profile. That one is the profile of the ship. And when you look from the front or from the back, it is called the body plan. Okay. Let's see this in lines. This is just, uh, that's what we were talking about. That one is my profile. That one is my profile. And this one is my body plan. And that one is my half breadth plan. So we need to know how to get these lines. When I want to draw these lines, I need points and like points in here contains x and y because it's 2d and the x and y we can get them from from here the offset table we're not gonna talk about how to get the offset table maybe later we're gonna talk about it but not now not for now the designer do that and after he get the offset table he convert it into the lines and from the lines he can get the hull and uh, he can after that study the resistance or stability or even the motion of the ship uh, from the hull. But for now, we are gonna just know how I can get the points for these curves from using the offset table. And uh, we're gonna just understand how uh, what the offset table is and how can I'm gonna use it. So I have in here, it's a, a simple software, uh, which is in left ship, you can download it for free. We're gonna see this station, what the stations, and the lines of the ship. That view is my body plan, if you guys remember that. And my breadth plan, which is that one, if I want to show the... Uh, water lines these are my water lines in here uh, that one is my half breadth plan and we also have the profile which is from the right that one is my profile and I'm gonna tell you about these lines uh, later when we start to design the ship from scraps okay Let's just jump into my perspective view in here so you guys can see my lines and that's how I can make the hull of the ship like that's uh, these lines and then I make my surfaces like that one. Okay. So let's just understand how can I convert my offset table into points. Let's just uh, take a look in here from the front. That's very important to us to draw first. There is important thing you guys need to know at first. On the right hand side it's the forward perpendicular and as long as I move in this way till I reach a midships. So if I go in here from the forward perpendicular and I move to a midships. So that one is my forward perpendicular and that one is my midships. That one. Okay. And that station is named station number 19 and as a long as I move toward the midship is gonna be decreased like from the station that one is forward perpendicular and then 19 
station 18, 17, and 16, and so on, till I reach the image ship. And on my left-hand side, you're going to find the after perpendicular. That one, the after perpendicular, and then as long as I move toward the amidships, it's gonna be increasing. Like that one is station number one, that one is station number two, and three and four till I reach the amidships. These curves in blue, which is my water lines. And in here, which is the water line zero, and then water line one, two, three, four, and so on. But the one in the base, which is water line zero, uh, we're gonna start from like this is the origin. So if I want to draw this curve, I need like a bunch of points to so I can draw it. Let's just take that, print the screen, the paint in here. Let's just understand how I'm going to get the points. If I want to draw this one, can you see it? That one? I need like a bunch of points in here and there and here and there and here and here and so on like from here and here and so on. This point which is like X and Y and Y. The Y, which is my water lines, do you guys remember that? These were water lines. These were water line one, two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. Okay, so I have my Y axis is constant. For every curve, I have the Y for now. So if I want to know my Y distance in here, it's gonna be 6. Okay, we knew the Y. And the Y in here is gonna be like that one is uh, 6, 7, and 8. That one is 8. So that one is 8, so my y in here is going to be x and 8. Alright, what about the x? We need the x. The x in here is the distance from the center line to the curve. From the center line to the curve. This is my distance. And this distance I can get from this station. So the, the Y in here, which represents the water lines, and the X in here, which represents to me the station. The station, do you guys remember the station? Oh, the station. So this row is gonna represent to me the X points, and this water lines represents the Y points. So if I want to draw the after perpendicular, which is from zero, 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 so it's gonna be uh, representing on my y axis. So in here, it's gonna like be like that till number four, I guess. So it's gonna be zero, zero, zero till number water line four. So that one is water line four, and so it's gonna be like that zero. And then he told me he goes 0.1437 and then 0.32, like 0.4, uh, what was it, 0.14, so this distance is going to be 0.14 and then 0.32 like 0.32 and then um, 
0.46 and so on it's going to be increasing so it's going to look like that that's how I can get my X and Y points so I need to convert to convert these points into X and Y so the X and Y in here is going to be 0 and 0 and the in here is going to be 0 and 0 0.5 and 0 and 1 and so on for all these points okay guys I think we've done for now uh, in my next tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create an Excel sheet so we can get proper points and um, see you on my next tutorial